Hey guys, welcome back to my playthrough of Jurassic World Evolution. This is part 10. Can't believe we've gotten this far ahead in the series, but uh, yep, uh, we've got a lot of Brachiosaurs and Diplodocus in this enclosure. I've also bred some Velociraptors uh, running around in here, because you know they're not even going to attempt to attack these guys. But, honestly, I've done all the missions here. It's been fun on Isla Tacano, but I feel like now is the time to go to Pena. So let's go ahead and jump to this island. This will be the third island, or fourth island actually. Fifth with Isla Sorna, and then we'll get to Nublar. So from what I understand, this is the tiniest island. We'll see how different it is. I've heard this is a pain, which makes sense. Uh, I believe that's the translation. A few minutes later. Nothing about this island feels right, and my instincts are usually pretty accurate when it comes to issues regarding the dinosaurs. So much of what happens on the islands is a secret, by necessity, yes, but this, this just feels like something else. Too cramped, too isolated. It's as if somebody is gathering up all the materials for a disaster. Tread carefully. And we definitely will tread carefully. I'm not sure what they were up to on this island, but it certainly doesn't scream tourist attraction to me. You're gonna have your work cut out for you here. Restricted building space and high power upkeep will see to that. I'd recommend investing in some big ticket dinosaurs, but they don't come without complications of their own. <laughs> you can't confine nature this way, because nature adapts. It searches for weaknesses. It finds them and exploits them, not sometimes, all times. This island is worlds away from Hammond's dinosaur paradise. And if things go wrong here, worlds away is the best place to be. He is not kidding. Uh... I have just had to restart this island after only playing on it for 30 minutes. I cloned a Metriacanthosaurus and it wasn't happy, so it broke out, started killing people, and a tornado drove through everything, and it was like the movie Twister. <laughs> this is ridiculous. Uh, I, I can already tell this is going to be... This is probably the most difficult island out of them all. But yeah, you're, you're never going to see what just happened. That's, that's a part of, like, uh, Fallen Kingdom. Like, uh, lost forever to the world. So, yeah. Uh, th that, that was, that was bad. Wow, that was, that was really, really bad. Here we go, our first dinosaur on Isla Pena, excluding that Metriacanthosaurus. Please make me some money. Let's see if we can turn a profit. I've got the Ankylosaurus out there right now. Let's see what we're doing. Negative uh, 25k per min. Not good, so let's go ahead and breed some more dinosaurs. Now, oh, oh, you know what we could do? We could do Archaeornithromimus. They're only 70,000. Yes, we're gonna do this. Archaeornithromimus, we'll have two different ones. Uh, Oh, we can't actually have two different ones. Oh, well. All right, we're going to have two of these. These are a new dinosaur. And it doesn't look like they take too long. I'm assuming they're going to be very social, but I highly doubt they're going to try to break out of here. So, yeah, we should be okay with a brand new dinosaur. He's not too bad looking. I personally think Gallimimus is going to be cooler. That's an Archaeornithomimus. I don't like the way they look. And I don't <laughs> just mean their appearance, but also the way they look at me. Alright. 
They're not that bad. Uh, let's see what your stuff is. Oh, you're very social, and you're gonna be really nice here. Let's release the second one. Uh, let's check up on our Anki. How you doing, Anki? This is pretty dark. Population. So what I'm actually going to do is go ahead and breed. I know I've got the completed genome, or at least enough to get one in here. Where is he? Archaeornithomimus, Struthium. There it is, Gallimimus. Can we change the skin? We can indeed. We're gonna do normal for now. Uh, you know, classic Jurassic dinosaur. Been in... Has it been in... No, I don't think Gallimimus was in Jurassic Park 3, was it? Unless it's in, like, the distance doing nothing. But apart from that, I, I think they've been in every other dinosaur... Uh, okay, the dinosaur. Uh, they've been in every other Jurassic Park movie, haven't they? They were featured prominently in the first, and they were here for a little while in Jurassic World. Definitely in Fallen Kingdom. Definitely in the Lost World. So this is what we're dealing with right now. We've got three dinosaurs. Soon to be... Uh, five. If I can do math. <laughs> I love the lighting in this game, but this is seriously pretty dark. Um, I'm not sure how it's going to come through when I render everything. Usually it looks a little bit darker. So we shall see. There we go. Hey, I love the model for these guys. That's a Gallimimus. Nice! Very cool. Mmm, a Gallimimus. Dr. Grant was, uh, obsessed with your latest creation. He believed that this dino was one of the closest genetic relatives to the modern avian species. Okay, transport rating is low. Use the management views to determine where there is high demand for transport links. What do you mean? We're, we're improving, okay? <laughs> uh, I advise you to look over the finances of the park. Looking over everything. Uh, we're actually doing better than we were, Cabot. So, uh, oh, look, and we just turned a profit. Come on, second galley. You know what? I haven't even looked at what this... Ooh, that was cool. So we've got two Gallimimus, two Archaeornithromimus, and then we've got one Ankylosaur. Uh, they love it here. Good. So, yeah, okay. If I want some carnivores, gonna have to do Dilophosaurus. Now that that's out of the way, we can go ahead and start cloning some other dinosaurs. Now, one of the things that I think we need right by the entrance is a really big carnivore. Unfortunately, you know, the one I want to go for is this guy. He's two million dollars to create. Just plain too expensive. They don't even, they won't even let me do it. Uh, well, yeah, I can't do it. <laughs> um, so, if I can't do Tyrannosaurus Rex, uh, should we do Ceratosaurus? I'm not sure if it's going to be a good location for it. So, for the time being, I don't know. Come on, Struthiumimus, make me some money. Oh, we got the Chasmosaurus. You're probably way too expensive for me to make right now, though. Adding task. Drink him. Here we go, new dinosaur. Looking pretty cool. That's awesome. Yeah, that was actually one of my favorite dinosaur toys as a kid. Another three-horned dinosaur. This time, a Chasmosaurus. The top of its head features a wide frill, too thin for protection, so it is hypothesized that it's instead used to impress a potential mate, which on the islands cannot happen. I'm short, as I was before. <laughs> yeah, uh... For any younger guys out there, or maybe people who don't know, this dinosaur was actually a part of the Lost World Jurassic Park toy line. As a kid, I don't know why, but I always called it Pentaceratops, but it is definitely Chasmosaurus. Uh, one of my favorites. 
I don't think this is the color scheme it had, though. I remember it being quite whiter. This one's pretty brown. But yeah, we'll see, uh, we'll see if we can get an updated skin to actually match the toy. Oh boy, storm warning. Okay. Oh, that's the arcade. No! Uh, open all shelters. Please don't be that bad. Oh no! Oh, that's not good. Oh, that's super bad. Ah! It's not gonna kill anyone, is it? Get your ass inside! Oh no! Damn. See, these storms, they're pretty serious, man. They can mess up your entire park, like, really, really quick. Wow. Look at the damage that's been done. We've got a couple of Dilophosaurs out, too. I've got people on the way trying to trank them, but I should keep the, uh... I'm gonna go ahead and keep the emergency shelters closed. Well, we took care of all of that, so essentially this is going to be a pretty big carnivore pen. Might as well go ahead and put down some feeders for him. Whoa. You've done good work in the past. Sure, That's whatever you I want, I'll do it. Are perfect for this contract. Okay, so now we've got things looking pretty decent, if I say so myself. I couldn't put anything over here, but I do have this big enclosure. Another big enclosure right here. As you can see, they are electrified. I've just reviewed the numbers. Things are looking good. Well done. I'm sure that makes you happy, Cabot. All right. It's time to call in the big guns when we have enough money, and we're about to. There's going to be a Tyrannosaurus Rex in this park, and it's going to get dumped right over here, I think. Let's go ahead and check on all the dinosaurs. I know the Dilos are probably fine, but... What about my Chasmosaurs and the Cenoceratops that I let go and hang out with them? Cool. Your social is very good. Population is good. Uh, they're looking okay. I'm liking what I'm seeing. Okay, now we've actually got enough money to do this, so here we go. We're going to breed. A Tyrannosaur. And I'm actually going to modify the genome if I can. We've got the Alpine color or... Ooh, let's do that. Watch. We don't have enough money for that. We're going to have to do a base T-Rex. I'm not throwing away that money. Okay. It's still a T-Rex. There we go. That should satisfy a lot of my customers. All right, here's a pretty important one. Come on. Nice. Oh, look at it. It's a little dark, but those are the colors from the Lost World. Nice. This is called a Pachycephalosaurus. Its notable feature is that it's thick-headed. <laughs> like some people I know. Who shall remain nameless? Adding to the list. Now, this guy... He's gonna be a chore. We need at least two or three more of them. And they like high populations. So I'm going to go ahead... and incubate two more. Gosh, I'm running low on cash. Yeah, but they are totally going to be useful. Brand new dinosaur. I'm probably going to put them... Let's see. Is their, pack, is their population super high? Not really. I'm probably going to make that other enclosure. Uh, Pachycephalosaur and Stiggy Moloch enclosure. Maybe I'll actually cut it in half. And then put some other dinosaurs over here. Actually, this is the T-Rex enclosure. What am I talking about? They're going to be going in here. And this T-Rex is just about ready to pop. So yeah, the park is actually, uh... It's taken up quite a lot of space, I'm not gonna lie. Isla Pena is a really hard park to manage. They weren't kidding. 
The storms are what make it really difficult, though, if I'm being totally honest. See, I, I, I don't really have that much space. But I'm almost at three stars, and I think once the T-Rex comes out, it'll get a little bit easier. Speak of the devil. There she is. My ears deceiving me, or is Isaac embracing chaos? Now this, huh? This could be interesting. Every show needs a star, and ours is definitely a diva. So that T-Rex I mentioned earlier, let's get a new one into the mix. Do it, and a star is most definitely born. Oh, and make sure our guests get a front row seat to the show, obviously. A T-Rex will always draw attention, but I shouldn't have to remind you how dangerous they can be. The world has never seen a more alpha predator. Are you serious? As soon as I release my T-Rex, they want me to incubate a completely new one? That's BS. Okay, now, I'll tell you why this is a problem. You met the objectives and secured a victory. They don't like other dinosaurs in their enclosure. Ah, uh, not good. Oh, nice. Sweet. All right, so we've got Site B unlocked. Tame and tame the loss and abandon. Okay, sweet. If there's a place on Earth, Earth as it currently exists, obviously, if there's a place where dinosaurs look like they should live, then this is it. Yeah, because it went so well all of the last times. Jeez, now I sound like Malcolm. <laughs> oh, I can't wait to go to Isla Sorna. That is going to be super cool. Oh, jeez. What now? Oh, no! The T-Rex is loose! Okay, that's super bad. No! Okay. That's... That's like the worst possible thing that can happen. What was this problem? What's wrong with you? Oh, did they... Did they already shoot him? Yeah, he's... okay. Shoot him, shoot him, shoot him before he gets near those people. Shoot it! Man, this park is not safe. Oh, now that was... Oh, that was super Asset close. Like, that's about as close as you could get. Picking up Asset. Without him killing anybody. Why aren't you guys repairing the fence? Do your damn jobs. Jeez. Okay, so things are somewhat back to normal. Um, let's go ahead and breed some new dinosaurs. We've got three Packies. Let's go ahead and get three Stiggies. Alright, so let's go ahead and try to make a really good T-Rex. We're going to up that as far as resilience goes. We're going to give it to intuitive learning, intense repair, no, uh, immune response. That'll probably do it good. Defense, uh... Skin toughness sounds good. Attack, tooth hardness, reaction speed, intuitive learning. Uh, we don't want a aggressive instincts, that's for sure. Uh, we're going to go ahead and give it tooth hardness, I guess. And another attack. Uh, no, but uh, secondary defense. How about brain aging? Your rep is buying you cred with everyone in entertainment including me so that is one expensive rex now let's see what all these guys are doing i'm really concerned about the sticky moloch they still haven't hit their social i've got another one where, uh, you know getting ready to incubate and as far as the packies go yeah they could do with one more as well so this whole enclosure, it's kind of crazy that it's going to be right next to what's going to be another Rex enclosure, but I can't help it. That's just kind of how it has to be for the time. So let's go ahead and demolish that. And instead, toss in those. Now is there a way for people to get in here? There is not. So. Let's go ahead and fix that. 
by giving a gate. Here comes the next Stiggy Moloch. Definitely going to have to toss him Request in the pen with his mates. And we should have everything up and running pretty well. I mean, obviously we have to hit our science and security division markings, but I'm pretty sure we already did our entertainment. We did. So, yeah, apart from that, this should be smooth sailing. At least, I hope it will be. Ooh. Oh, now check his colors out. T-Rex front and center. Maximum guest exposure while maintaining safe protocols. Yeah, I mean, keep everyone safe, but don't overdo it. The protocols are guidelines, right? First and foremost, let's give our guests the show they've come to see. The ultimate T-Rex encounter. The roar of the crowd. The roar of our star performer. Think of the possibilities. He's already agitated. This is not good. He's probably going to try to break that stuff down. Fact. Oh, this isn't looking too good. Ah! Please ma maintain control. Oh, he, he got out with two things? I'm doing what I can to help you. Do what you can to help the security division. I'm gonna try. Alright, he, he broke out like immediately. How am I supposed to... Jeez. He wanted grassland, he wanted forest. Oh no, and he's gonna kill someone. He's most definitely going to kill someone. They, did they stick? Uh, no. Not good. Oh, that one got him. Come on, guys, hit him. Don't let him kill anyone. Oh, no, no, no! Ah, get up and run! Get up and run! Oh, he's dead. Ah! No! Oh, man. Come on, guys, can't you hit him? <laughs> yeah, just just dropped a little bit in the ranking here, didn't it? Please tell me that my ranger team is on its way. It's not. Of course not. Now, he wanted forests, and then he got really angry, like, because he didn't have any grassland. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to make this area, like, foresty, and then I'm going to make this area pretty much nothing. Okay, nope, he's angry. Trank him. Adding to the list. And he's about to break out again. Well, we're almost maintaining safety protocols. Attending to repair request. This guy is way too hard to handle. He's still pissed off after all the modifications that I've tried to make to his place. You gotta calm down, man. Oh, I actually did that? Oh, Kentrosaurus available. Jeez. Yeah, that's how we do it in the entertainment division. Sure, the scientists can bring them back from the brink, but we put them in front of the world. Heck of a job. Heck of a job. 
I understand the appeal of featuring the T-Rex. I mean, I get it. Really. But if that show of yours ever goes pear-shaped, well, you know what can happen. Any doubt? Ask your friend, Dr. Malcolm. <laughs> okay, another new dinosaur. The Baryonyx. We've had this guy on Isla Tacana. Figured it'd be good to drop him on Pena. He's fine. Alright, now that you've got some pack mates, you shouldn't get murdered by that Baryonyx. Check out the green look these guys have. <laughs> I love their noise. Ah! Ah! They're extremely social, of course. I've got two being airlifted in. You're okay. Dr. Wu has more for us to do regarding the animals. It's gonna get done one way or the other. And I'd prefer if you were part of it. Damn, okay, now that's some serious stuff. A metricanthosaurus with increased bone density, ceratosaurus with aggressive instincts, and T-Rex with tooth hardness mod. You know what? Oh, man. That's ridiculous. Now, the reason that's so outlandish is because they expect you to put them in areas... Oh, you know what I could do, actually? I could just toss them right here. The problem with doing that is, though, that they're probably all going to kill each other. Oh, whoa! I can get the Indominus Rex now? Sweet! Uh, but what we actually need at the moment is... Increased bone density, which is right there. We'll do that too. The Indominus Rex is a magnificent creature. If evolution had the time, well, we've just hurried things along a bit. And the result is nothing short of spectacular. So don't dilute the value of my work, or you'll be dealing with me directly. All right, here is part one of three of this insane mission. There's our Ceratosaur. We're gonna go ahead... Request acknowledged. ...crank the guy. Now, shouldn't it come up here that we've... Yeah, okay, good. So, part one of the mission is good. Tranquilize this guy. Tranquilize him. He's aggressive. He's super aggressive. He's already getting angry. And are they are they already okay, shoot at him, please. Let's go ahead and knock this stuff out. Now, due to his aggression being so high. I don't know, man. Maybe I could just trank him and Can I just leave him there? Okay, so now we can go ahead and move forward with Metriacanthosaurus. Which is right here. We need the normal genome. Yes. Bone density, which is like way over here, I believe. Increased bone density. Here, here's the plan. I'm going to pick this guy up when the Metriacanthosaurus is coming out. And then I'm going to put him in the Dilophosaurus paddock. And then... I'm going to tranquilize the Metricanthosaurus and pick him up when the T-Rex is coming out. But I'm not going to put the Metricanthosaurus anywhere. I'm going to drop him back down right here. And then I'm going to tranquilize him again. And then I'm going to tranquilize the T-Rex. And if I can keep them all three tranquilized and not die, then I, I think I can do this. But otherwise, they're going to break out and kill something. That Rex will definitely fight one of these Ankies. This is not going to be easy. We should be safe. All right. Oh, in the nick of time. You really knocked that one out of the park. That was so close. It would be so cool if the dinosaurs could like jump up and like nip at them. <laughs> but he, it was close. I knew that if it was on the ground tranquilized, this guy would try to kill him. At least I think so. If not, then this game sucks. 
but I'm pretty sure that's what would happen. Let's go ahead and shrink him. See, two of three down, two of three down. And yeah, you're on your way to the Dialo paddock. Look at the helicopters, they look cool. Oh, they got him in the tail. I gotta tell you, oh, knocked him out. Okay. This isn't gonna be easy. <laughs> uh, jeez. Oh, it's not gonna let me drop him. Oh, no. <laughs> oh, no. Okay, uh, tell you what. Oh, man, this is not gonna be good. En route to pick up the asset. I'm gonna have to put them right there. How far out are they? They're right there. I'm gonna have to tranquilize him immediately, too. Because he's gonna kill anything in here. He's carnivorous. Carnivorous. Okay. Drop it, drop it, drop it, drop it, drop it, drop it. Alright. Okay, actually, I, I think we might get away with this because the T-Rex... Oh, you can see him back there. You gotta be really careful. Acknowledged. Trank him, trank him, trank him, trank him, trank him. Okay, he's gonna come out. Oh, are they already tranking him? No, no, they're not already tranking him. He's not even out of his cage yet. All right. Now, I need to get a good look. This is scary. I'm not gonna lie. I don't want to fail this mission. This is dangerous as is. Trank him. Oh boy. Understood. And the T-Rex. Come on, guys. We can make this happen. That T-Rex is gonna break out, I just know it. Stay right there, T-Rex. Oh, okay. We've got him tranked. Now trank him. Now trank him. They're shooting at him. I wonder what they're going to ask me to do after that. Because I did everything they asked me to. They don't want me to release them all together, do they? Since it's telling me that... That's not good enough or something. I'm going to go ahead... Oh, this is not... Okay. Picking up asset. I'm gonna put Heading all of to them the asset. over here. Heading to pick up the asset. And I guess I'm going to try and box this whole place off. Uh you better get out of there, Struthy. Because this is about to get dirty. <laughs> All these carnivores are going to want to kill each other. What is this? Archaeornithomimus and Struthiomimus and Struthiomimus. You guys want to get out of there? We can always solve a few more problems. Asset has been transported. Alright, so the Metricanthosaurus and the Tyrannosaurus Rex are in the same enclosure. Why hasn't it? Is this a glitch? Is there a time limit or something? I did everything it asked me to do. Uh, I think this game glitched up or something. Asset 
these particular specimens will be for export and used on assignment. Oh shit. So they need to be the best we can create. Export? Oh well, shit. <laughs> isn't that uh, just insanity? Don't they already have their hands full watching them on these islands? Request acknowledged. Um Well that that was the worst possible thing that could happen. Oh no, this is not gonna be good. Trank the Rex, Trank the Rex, Trank the Rex, Trank the Rex. Yes. Clone the Ceratosaur. Clone the Metricanthosaur. Prepare the fence. Oh, man. These T Rexes, man. Oh, so sweet. Acknowledging asset collection request. Okay, use the transport team to loan each dinosaur. All three dinosaurs are getting loaned. Lambert here. Nice work getting that done. I've had word where to receive our animals back in staggered shipments, delivered to the island in intervals. Dr. Wu has reported that some may be diseased or in less than ideal condition. Let's get on this. Bring these animals back up to our standards. We'll need to do this before they can be reintroduced to the island. Get this done without asking too many questions. And by too many questions, I mean any questions at all. How and why I... We do what we do is above your pay grade. Well, that should be clear to you by now. Uh, what? So what do they want to do with the dinosaurs once they get back? I mean, I guess I'm going to have to tranquilize them again and shoot them with the healing stuff? Loan the dinosaurs? Like, what even is that? What are they getting loaned for? Alright, so when these dinosaurs come back, I have no idea what I'm supposed to do with them. But I really hope that... Oh, man. Yeah, just hurry up. Where am I going to put him? Uh, the T-Rex can go. Let's see, it can't be killed. Asset collection request this isn't going to be good. Asset has been delivered. Oh great, a tropical storm. Just what I needed. Got low health already. And who oh uh, yeah, look! Oh perfect! Just what I needed to have happen. That's great. Oh, I fucking love this game. This is awesome. Oh, that fucking T-Rex is gonna die. Pushing the security division. Fuck. And you need to push back by doing your job. <sighs> wow. Well, you know what? I think that's it for today. Hope you guys enjoyed this. <laughs> Sorry to leave on such a disappointing note but uh yeah i literally have to do all of that stuff all over again um and to be honest with you i just don't feel like playing this game right now. look at this look at this 
Alright guys. Until next time. See ya. Now before I go, I want to thank my game wardens, as well as all of my engine executives. I'd also like to thank all of my park workers and engine hunters as well. It means the world to me that you guys continue to support what I do, and I seriously am extremely thankful for all of you just watching the videos. It honestly means the world. Now, I'd like to thank all of you for watching the video, and hope that you all enjoy today's content. If you feel like I deserve it, I'd appreciate the like, and hope that you'll consider subscribing if you are interested in hearing from me again. I'll see you all in the next video, guys. And as always, take it easy.